morning, whatever, never mind. This is day 68 of my daily video vlogs. It is, let me look at the time and date here, March 26, 2015, at least it is right now for me while I'm taping it. It is 10.29 p.m., it's kind of late, I just got home from working at the church um, uh, with the Minish team, and uh, I've still got some things to do tonight before I go to bed, so I'm going to make it real quick, but I, I um, found a really cool video. This is from something that is, doesn't affect me, but what they're doing, I really like what they do. And the reason I say that, this is um, the video I'm going to point. Right here's an image. Here's a right here's a picture, and I'll um, make a link if you click on it. It's up there right now, right there. Um, and I'll also put a link in the description in case you watch the whole video and you want to click on it after the video is done. Uh, I really like this video. This is about, and I'm going to read the screen, which is in front of me, Valspar, V-A-L-S-P-A-R, color for the colorblind. And it is, they've made these glasses, and they, they have people in the video that have been colorblind, and they, they see just the for different shades of gray. And they put on these glasses, and they can see not every color, but a good bit of colors. And it adjusts, and it, and it, it, it adjusts what they see. So um, there's, it's, it's a three-minute, 52-second video. I think it's really cool. I think it's something that, I, I think it's really great that they can come up with these glasses that take the people that, it's not that they're blind. Wouldn't that be great if we could have a solution for that? but that they are lacking the ability to see color and the difference that these glasses make. And I say it kind of, it doesn't affect me because I can see, at least I, I would think I see everything colorful. What I assume is blue is blue. But I do have a problem with my ear. Um, I think maybe 20 years ago or longer, I had a uh, infection in my ear and it drained and I never went and seen the doctor and it got really bad it made a hole in my eardrum and it never repaired so by the time I got insurance and got to see the doctor it was so bad they had to reconstruct the bones inside the doctor told me well you could get all your hearing back you could get some of your hearing back or you could get none of your hearing back, but it would fix the problem of the drainage. And um, what I have now is about 20% hearing. I think it's gotten a little better over time, but basically they went in my ear and the bones that um, connect to the eardrum were deteriorated from the infection to where I couldn't hear at all out of this ear. And um, they reconstructed the eardrum or sewed it back together, I guess. Um, and they they put plastic bone in there, pla plastic pieces. And I have about 20% hearing in this ear, maybe a little more now. And um, the only time it really, I mean, I can tell. Like if I put the phone up to this ear, put the phone up to this ear, I can hear people on this side, but they're like, it's like instead of it holding it up to here, it's like I've got it way over here. It's like I can hear them, but it's just very quiet. And like if I have my earphones on, to make it equal, I have to turn up the, other, the right side. And uh, a lot of times in movie theaters, I wear the headphones. Um, a lot of the bigger chains have headphones for the hearing impaired. And you can click a button and hear, you know, basically like having headphones with uh, amplification. Or you can hit a button. If you're blind, it will actually do the better than closed captioning because it actually describes what's going on on the screen. It'll say, a young boy enters the room. He looks at the floor. He drops his coat on the floor. And then whenever he speaks, if any person speaks, you'll hear that. You'll hear that actual. You'll hear all the stuff from the movie, but you actually hear a person describing what's going on in the movie so I you know I don't know how enjoyable that would be if you were 
blind. Um, I don't know. I guess it would be better than um, not watching movies or not being able to have that experience. And I love movies, but it, sometimes it's difficult for me to hear, especially if there's a lot of dialogue. Um, I'll have to ask my wife, what did they say? Especially if they're quiet, like they're whispering. If they're whispering specifically, it's very hard for me to hear. That's why I wear the earphones from the movie theater. They'll program it for that movie theater, and um, that's pretty good. But uh, getting back to what I said, if I get a cold in this ear and it clogs this ear up, I, which I did, oh, I would say probably three years ago, I got a really bad cold, and I didn't I didn't have insurance at the time. And uh, so I didn't go to the doctor. Um, well, I eventually did go to the doctor. But I didn't go to the doctor right away. Like, I waited a week. If I had insurance at the time, I probably would have went after a couple days because I can't hear. And so um, when this year gets, when, when I get a cold, this year, um, it's almost like I, I never get a cold in this year. Like, it never gets uh, gunked up where I can't hear out of this year. But this year has very little hearing. I always get it in this ear, and I don't know if that's because this ear um, is mostly inside plastic, and so I guess that that infection has nothing to hold on to. But when I get a cold, um, and this ear is infected, I try to go to the doctor right away now, even if it costs me $100, because uh, when I got that infection, I think it was three years ago, I think, um, I could barely hear because I couldn't hear anything out of here and I can barely hear out of here and so I mean people would I would have to be like this close what did you say and they would have to yell into my ear and then after I, I had to go to the doctor even though I didn't have the money and the doctor gave me some medicine then it didn't do any good they had to give me a different prescription it finally did clear it up it took about a week and a half before it actually I could hear halfway normal again not this year I'm pointing over here but halfway here and so people just had to be loud and I think it was about two weeks that it completely cleared up so and now that I do have some insurance if I was to get a cold in this ear I would go to the doctor right away because um, I just it's it's a bad experience and so when I saw this video it, it I know I don't have color blindness but I can um, sympathize with the people who can't see color. Just like I can, you know, I like the videos where the people with the cochlear implants, they can't hear and they put these implants and then they can. That really touches me um, because I know what it's like not to hear. And, uh, you know, I, the old debate, if you had to choose whether you could hear and not see or see and not hear, so you either lost your hearing or lost your sight. Which one would you choose? Hmm. Um, I think, honestly, I probably would lose my sight. If I had to choose. I wouldn't choose either if I didn't have to. Um, and you say, why would you do that? Because, I mean, at that point I can't drive. At that point I can't read. Um, I would have to learn Braille, I suppose, if I wanted to read. Uh, hard to study. Hard to watch videos on the Internet. Hard to do anything without sight. But I love music so much and I love playing trombone that if I could not hear um, music uh, again and if I could not play the trombone again and, and, and do that, I think it would really um, be difficult. I think it would really be difficult. So I think I could put up with not seeing better than not hearing. Plus, um, they have so much advancements now with readers where you can um, have magazines and books and what have you not saying that is easy um, I would never ever say that somebody who's blind has it easy compared to somebody who can't hear I think it would be very 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 difficult to not see so anyway I'm I know this video is everybody's probably cheering it's quick easy video but I have got to go to bed and get up in early in the morning to go to chapel and Bible study and then tomorrow night I have to go to bed early because I'll be going to an auction on Saturday and I have to get up I have to leave at 5 a.m. on Saturday so I can be there 
So, uh, anyway, until tomorrow, YouTube, I hope that you have a great day. I hope that tomorrow, or today, or whatever day that it is that you're watching this video, is the best day that you've had so far, and that the next day will be even better. So, YouTube, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <music>